now it's quiet time gamers hello there you beautiful you and welcome to the classrooms early access um i know nothing of the game as per usual i'm gonna go in blind we all understand what this is all about. It's about liminal spaces, back rooms, classrooms, this is just another level of the back rooms, blah, blah, blah. We've been here, we've seen that. Let's see what's up. All right, tapes. Uh, this tutorial. I I'm okay, I guess I'm, I'm forced into a tutorial. Let's go. It might be uh, very important then, since they don't let you skip it. Alright, so I saw a bunch of YouTubers that I'm subscribed to, I was like, oh, they're playing, like, this This game looks cool, and I was like, oh, just had an update, oh, that's awesome, and then I was like, alright, fine, I'll take it. And here we are. Ugh, anomalous uh, retrieval and con containment. Okay, class the following uh, classified footage designed ARC 2105. Subject, Grace Chen, uh, age 12, missing person. Okay, Xavier Middle School. Robert Chan, age 18, missing person, redacted. The following footage was recovered from Robert Chan's personal view master, HV 550. Sure thing. Here we are. It's recording. Oh, it's also recording my microphone live. Look in the in the corner there. Okay. Move mouse. Yeah. Oh, this reminds me of the this thing. beginning of Outlast. I don't know, is it quiet for everyone or is it just me? Is it quiet? Hang on. Audio. Uh right mouse button to zoom. My camera has no battery. Left mouse to pick up flashlight. That flashlight. Got him. Left mouse to pick up battery. Oh, right there. Okay. Reload batteries. L literally just like Outlast. I've been trained for this. Fresh batteries. Mm-hmm. I have been... Oh my god! <laughs> I can just swivel my head on, <laughs> on a pivot 360 around myself. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, to take the van key. Van key tooketh. Okay, was the yeah, that's classic. Uh, walk to the back of the van. Damn, there's there's nothing behind me. Look at that, nothing to even illuminate. All right. Um, to unlock van. Oh, oh wow, that's very very complex already like they're they're adding a bunch of stuff like physics open and close stuff anyway left mouse was to take a cold x I'll find you may 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 take mills paper open inventory and read codex okay mystery deepens on missing children school closed early for summer students gone missing during school hours Right. I just did. Control the crouch. Yeah, I get it. Um. Alright, I wish we had... Individual? Need to break the glass. Hope nobody hears this. Yeah, individual sound bars? Because it, it feels like... It has all the potentials to be extremely loud game. So I'm just gonna prepare for worse, I guess. Here we go. I need to break the glass. Well, a brick will do. Uh, right. There we go. Done. Oh, I thought it was a corridor. It is not. Power's off. Gotta find the breaker room. If you say so. Ah, it's still open. I have a question. What if I put that there? I walk out. Does it stop the door? Yeah, you see, this is smart. I never see anyone in horror movies do this. Just place something to wedge a door that you don't know if you can open ever again, you know? Anyway, I'm, I'm, th this is meta game. 
I'm quite sure I wasn't supposed to do that. Locker room. Uh, uh, find the breaker. What's this? Oh. What? What? What was that? That's a. Oh my gosh. I thought. I thought. But it. it uh, anyway. Fine. I just wasted batteries. And of course, I am speaking out loud. You can see my microphone in there. So. There. Ooh. Quite a possibility that my microphone, my voice is attracting every single creature in the vicinity. Please don't come. I'm gonna come. There it is. Okay, that doesn't make much sense for opening and closing, but okay. Alright, clutch chunk. Very good. Excuse me? Oh. Generate- generating level? Well, I guess it makes sense, right? It is- it is a, another dimension of infinite proportions, so... So it must lag. Oh, yes, it must. Boy, does it must. Okay, what do we have here? Lampshades. Mm -hmm. Can I hide inside one? Ooh. Oh, I can potentially hide. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. It's awesome. Oh, that's weird. Shadows. Normal. Look at shadows. They undulate. Look away. Look in. Look away. Look in. Very weird. Strange. Well, I guess my string. Where am I? I was gonna say, I guess my strat of placing the the thing, the wedge, didn't do much, did it? You know, I just realized something. You probably can hear my dog's bark right now. I wonder if... Run. Hide. Escape. Oh no, that's a face only a mother could love. What? Oh, look at this one. <laughs> so my dogs like to bark a lot, so... You can probably hear my, my dogs going on in the background sometimes. I wonder... If my dogs are gonna end up killing me. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying to hide, hold my breath, and then my dog just come uh, on, like at the like a, at the base of my window here, and just starts yapping. Also, a, a reminder: if you skip the head for one reason or another, remember it's my first time playing, so please be uh, mindful of that before blasting me in the comments for not knowing how to play. I am exploring, after all. As... As best OS. Ah, yeah, that's, that's the good one. Fireproof. It's a very convincing effect of opening and closing door. Well, good thing I can look inside a room before entering. Is it every level randomly generated? Oh, I can. Oh, I can possibly place a cassette tape in there. What do we have here? Reading takes you places if you say so <laughs> child of the corn looking as mother oh that's some impressive culling I like that something loaded in well aside from extra level found codex entry have I now Okay, here we go. Arc. Item number 004. Character level 3. Phenomena type malicious entity. Ah, right. Arc 004 is a malevolent anomaly predominantly located within the Alpha and Lambda superstructures. It has the appearance of a ceramic doll 
It is in an area devoid of visible light under the required condition. Engages in aggressive pursuits, targeting and eliminating adult human individuals. Notably, the entity primarily focuses on incapacitating its victims by forcibly removing their eyes. Ooh, goody. Aim, aiming to disable their sense of sight. Right. Anomalous properties. Occasionally, instances have been reported uh, wherein ARC-004 inexplicably vanishes from its observed location. The manner by which uh, all four accomplishes this phenomenon remains unknown, as any attempts to document this occurrence have required have resulted in the failure of recording devices. Mm -hmm. Okay, maintain maintain an interrupted visual contact with entity. That's the way to do it. So it's essentially so essentially it is trying to emulate a little bit of what one. Would I can jump? Good. What one would consider to be uh, SCP, but from a different dimension. I, I assume. No escape. Warning: Do dates are closer than they appear. Safety first. Walk. Do not run. Right. Right, right. That's a tip. Got it. Probably like trip up as well. This is another one. Okay, gamers. I'm on edge. I'm gonna speak very close to the microphone, such that you can hear me, but nothing else can. Nothing else may. Now this is a library. Maybe I got some codex, or maybe some extra information. It's is that now the egg timer? Oh, get it now. It is very good. This will take me a few practice runs, by the way. Right. I will double crouch right here. Arc. Item number 216, clearance level 3, sure. Um, it is an aggressive and malevolent entity predominantly found within the lambda substructures. It manifests as a humanoid figure concealed beneath a cloak. I don't know if in this menu my microphone can be picked or not, but uh, I'll assume it is. Um, although it generally remains unseen, becomes visible upon encountering human individuals. Relentless pursuit. Its primary objective is to capture and subsequent brutal murder of its chosen victim. Okay. Substantial electrical current. Okay. It doesn't like that. Oh, no, no, no. It manifests as that. Okay. Notably, environment features fluorescent lights. Okay. Blinking lights, etc. Okay. Uh, have proven futile... Uh, with the sole exception of being the removal of all sources of illumination, causing to vanish. So, turn off my uh, any flashlights, etc. Any sightings of... Oh, so me turning on the lights caused my own doom. Oh boy. It is recommended to deactivate all electrical devices, including in flashlights, and seek refuge in an area devoid of artificial lighting. Due to ah, oh, if I run away from you, I have to deal with you. If I run away from you, I have to deal with you. Oh boy. Or I can choose my I can choose my fate at the beginning. Either I deal with you or I deal with you. Oh boy. Okay, locating a, uh, sorry, uh, locating space, locating a space with minimal electrical current might prove challenging. But it is utmost importance to prioritize finding such an environment. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. That actually scared me a little bit. I cannot open these. Okay. Is there any one of them I can open? I would like to hide, if possible. That's not good. Fluorescent lights blinking. 
That's not good. I don't know what that means. Like it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Choose your poison, I guess. Yeah. It is a choose your poison time, isn't it? I'll take this moment to collect my thoughts. That's the exit. Beautiful. I will wait right here where I can see everything. Kind of. They woke up super early today. The alarms were blaring loud, but this time it was different. Instead of our usual caretakers yanking us out of bed, there were these soldiers with big guns standing all quiet by the door. It was scary. The whole day felt like a dream. We scrambled to put on our clothes real quick and they took us to the gymnasium. But deep down I knew something bad was waiting for us there. Okay, so I cannot exit, that's obvious. And I have to pick my poison. There's nothing there. <gasps> I think I understand. Okay, I think I understand. Let me go here first. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, right. That's less scary than I thought. It's just blocked. It's just blocked. <sighs> okay. I thought it was just like eternal darkness outside. And I could just venture out. Okay. Try. Yes, I can lock myself. Um, having eye contact with the entity could be, well, relentless pursuit or relentless pursuit or dull. <sighs> dull. Yep. We go with doll. Pick that up. I wonder what this is for. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Alright, just don't. What is that? Janitor's key? The fact I came here, this little thing walking, pisses me off to no end. Close the door, please. for my part. My bad. Okay, um, okay, let me get real close because I'm, I'm, I'm progressively talking smaller, like, I'm progressively speaking quieter and quieter. This is key. Oh, God. This key. Wrong key, of course. Of course, wrong key. Whew. Okay. Well, uh, I have one thing to say. The, you are not alone. I, I know. I have one thing to say. The game is setting up the atmosphere quite well. Like, like having silence is never a bad thing in your games. Having too much silence, however, yeah. But this has the correct amount of silence. Whomever made this, congratulations, you found a balance. You have found a balance, sir. Okay, move the chair. Thank you. Can I hide under the table? Nope. I can open every one of these? Oh boy, no. That's too much to check. Oh, I thought this was something for me to grab. The way is towards the door. Ouch. Okay. I don't know if I have to go there. I will not if I don't. Behind the door. Yeah. Okay, go here. Oh my god.
my... Ooh, was... Okay. You like my, uh... My own restraint at screaming? I'm pretty good at that. I have been avoiding to scream at my own sleep for 15 years. Except when it's extremely necessary. Ah, hi little child. Oh. That's some very interesting behavior. Ooh. You see how creepy that is? Because I can see her shadow under the door. That is kind of creepy. I like that. Yeah. Because, oh, that is kind of creepy. Let me just do a little... Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. You chill. It came from there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you are not gonna kill me. Where do I go, however? Okay. Good thing. That thing cannot open doors. I wonder if that key fits this. I hope it does because I have nowhere else to go. But I released both entities at the same time. It's not good. I think I know exactly what's about to happen. I'm this glad. should open the elevator. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to face both entities at the same time. I... As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna have to face the girl. And the relentless pursuit. <gasps> oh, door's open. Oh, it's not the correct... Yeah, I know, I know. I know you're there, don't worry about it. I did not forget about... You know what I mean? Both at the same time. Okay, there we go. Oh, I like games that make you hold your breath like that. Games that, you know, make use of uh, all of your resources. It's been a really long time since I've been on edge while playing a horror game. This is really good. I like it. It's like, uh, th that's the thing. M a lot of games, they forget how important quiet is. That was the loudest ding I've ever heard in my life. You know, so like a little bit of ambience, it makes sense. Is this creepy piano really necessary? Does it enhance anyone's experience? Yes. What's that? A glow stick. Ooh, beautiful. And I got a... What? Russian dictionary. Oh no, don't, don't. Wait, what? Did I drop it? I did. I'm hearing something. What is that?
Okay. I had to check. Okay. Okay, so... This is gonna be one of those. I cannot speak. You're gonna have to deal with silence. Or, I'm just gonna place some voiceover. I promise it's gonna be something very insightful. Don't you worry about it. Any, in any case, I will remain quiet. While recording, at least. If there is any further talking, it's going to be added in post. So now, it's quiet time, gamers. Shh, quiet time. So, at this time, I was pretty much just getting my bearings and seeing what I can and cannot do. I have no idea how this creature technically operates. I don't know if it can hear everything or just extremely loud noises or, you know. So, I was taking my time and observing if it had any form of, like, walk-in pattern at this point. And then, I turned around the corner and I found a whoopee cushion. Um, which was obviously just something to block your path, so maybe you can't just take the shortest path, you gotta go around and things like that, which is, it's a nice detail. I believe further ahead I'm gonna say like balloons that kind of follow you or something, it's, it's, a, it's a nice little extra touch. Well, I didn't know if you could just get me out of nowhere. But I guess it doesn't need to hear me if it stumbles on me, it's good enough. Okay, here's a strat gamers. The fact it came all the way over here is kind of upsetting. Maybe you can, like, pseudo hear me. Maybe you can hear, like, the faint, like, it from a microphone. Okay, from this point forth, you're going to see that the footage is... It appears almost like it's stretched. That's not the case. My monitor resolution is ultra wide. And after the game crashed again, I didn't notice that my recording software didn't adjust the resolution properly. And it's just trying to record everything on my native resolution instead. So that is the reason why. I'm just gonna have to cope with it. It's it it's how it's gonna be displayed from now on.
Closing the door. Okay, I think it's safe now. Ugh. Alright, safe to talk now. Okay. Oh, I was like, how is this exit? <laughs> I can't fucking find anything. Ugh. Uh, oh man, that was stressful. That was, uh, well, it, so here's the thing. It wasn't stressful in the sense that, oh my god, I, like, you know, if I die in the game, I die in real life. No, but it's like, because it, since I have to stay quiet and not talk, I also have to control my breathing, because if I do a little, <sighs> you know, uh, it's, ooh, yeah, why not, there we go, all of them, perfect, by the way, these shouldn't stay on forever, yeah, there we go, perfect, yeah, accurate, I like it, alright, so, the big year guy. Like, the fact that you can choose to control him with your voice as opposed to any other environmental thing. Well, then again, I suppose that that's the point, right? You have the egg clock, or you can just like do a little but, and then it walks towards where the noise was. Which, in my opinion, it's, it's perfect. All right, we are in the pool rooms, or about to be. The bathrooms. Oh, the bathrooms. Oh, I think... I think I read about this. Mm -hmm. Oh, they actually dispense soap. That's awesome. Ooh, battery. I think I read about the bathrooms. It's like... It... It's a good time to read the codex. Um, ooh. Okay, let's, uh, over here. Uh, disregard the opinions of the senior researchers. I firmly believe we must acquire additional subjects and enhance our security measures. The casualties are mounting with each exploration. Uh, a staggering 17 lives lost recently, and our number is dwindling. Despite the setback, it is crucial to acknowledge the success of our tests over the past quarter, we have unveiled a remarkable 47 new locations within the space, uncovering a substantial cache of anomalous items. Nevertheless, the more we unravel the mysteries of the structure, the more enigmatic and bewildered, be bewildering it becomes. Okay. Uh I guess that's just a, just a researcher's note. Okay, we have a malicious entity, entry number 11. Are large humanoid entities characterized by elongated limbs and a gaunt physique, suggestive of malnutrition. Oh. 
They possess this unwavering ability to contort their bodies into highly unnatural and seemingly impossible positions, provoking fear and distress. Sure. Uh, they possess sentience demonstrated through remarkable environment awareness. Okay, as of all attempts to establish communication, sure. Ongoing testing aims to ascertain the full extent of their normal capabilities. Okay, no such weakness have been identified. Retrieval and containment. Given uncertain quantity of entities directly contained ever strongly, okay. Prioritize evasive actions by swiftly moving to conceal themselves around corners and behind available cover. However, seeking refuge in darkness is ill-advised. Arc 11 has demonstrated exceptional visual acuity in low light conditions. So maybe I can speak, but I cannot count with darkness to help me? Okay. Um, this is hell, isn't it? We knew would be the next ones to be sent in. They handed us these documents telling us what we needed to bring back from these awful places. But we didn't even um, have a moment to read it. They rushed us in, leaving me stranded without food or water. All they gave me was this stupid flashlight and a compass. But there was one thing they made sure to tell us. If we want to make it out of here alive, I need to etch these codes into my memory. Ah, thank you for... Thank you for uh, letting me etch the code into my memory. It's a bunch of... Nice. So since it's impossible to not make noise in here due to the water, I think speaking is fine. I think. I will make a, a noise test, however. That is a trap, isn't it? I think I get it. Okay, trap, go in here, go around, do evasive maneuvers like they said, go to back to exit. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, big dumbass. Hey, big dumbass!
have an idea. Come over here. I have an idea. It might be a stupid idea. I got stuck on the floor. I mean, I, I literally got stuck on the floor. Uh, there was something on the floor and made me get stuck. What? My idea was perfect. Until that happened. So glad I remembered. Here we go. All right. Yeah. So the paper was correct. Like you know, they are. Uh, they're not very good. They. They're not very good at. They, it seems like they have to have like a, a direct line of sight with you at all times. And they are. If you just try to dodge them around curves, it also works. So the the paper was completely correct. <sighs> Okay. Uh, whatever this is, gonna have to wait, but I'm curious. Tell me the title. Yeah, we're going to see about this later. <laughs> we're gonna see. We're, we're gonna see about this one later. Um, but the but thanks. That's a for today at least. That's a hard pass. Um, yeah, no. Anyway, uh, so, uh, sorry, as I said, I, ha I can't speak too much live. If I have to do some, some uh, post-recording, because otherwise the creatures keep finding me all the time. So, I'll make sure to, like, put a little, uh, to put a little um, note on the corner of the screen every single time that I'm speaking in post. And whenever I'm not speaking in post, it's not going to be there, so you know. Um, anyway, uh, that is... That is the classrooms. The, the, the... Well, well, hello. <laughs> I was just chilling here. <laughs> I think I know exactly what that is, like a Smiler, right? Like one of those creatures that they are like a tower, like a, just like a black tower with a face and teeth, I think that, that's, what it's, that's what it is. In any case, um, if you enjoy this and would like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the bread and butter of the channel. It's going to let me know right away if you like me to continue playing this game. Uh, in any case, um, I might just do another shot at it, anyways, because it's it's very interesting to me, at least. Uh, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the style of the game. Um, I do have a join button if you feel like uh, so inclined to help the channel even further. We have some custom badges and uh, custom emotes. Uh, maybe you catch me live next time. Uh, I do live streams on the channel quite consistently. Um, Leave me a comment down below. Every single interaction with the channel helps massively. Uh, there's a Discord as well. If you want to join the Discord, uh, the community Discord, it's completely free. Just go in there, hang out, post memes, whatever. Just follow the rules. You have no, you have no problems. Uh, in any case, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you, beautiful you, in the next one. Bye bye.